rated support you device you 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 program counter assembly language instruction register the CPU operands RAM data lately I've been studying assembly language and I've been studying the PIC microcontroller. Generally, assembly language has one statement per machine instruction. In contrast to higher level languages, assembly relies on an understanding of device hardware and microcontroller architecture. I wanted to create a memorandum video for myself which outlines the relationship between the CPU and RAM. As I see it, further learning depends on this. I am not an expert. Please consult official sources. I am creating something I can watch over and again. Maybe it is helpful for you too. I hope so. The following is an example of the program execution cycle. Supposing the program's code is stored in RAM, the program execution cycle can be understood in three easy steps. I will explain. First, the CPU outputs the address of the memory slot location containing the needed instruction. This address is kept in the program counter. Here, sample addresses are shown in decimal numbers. In this case, 3724. Binary addresses are output on the address lines from the processor. The ISD uses the address to select the RAM chip allocated to this address. Also, the address bus directly connects to the RAM chip to select the individual location. The ISD, or Integrated Support Device, is a chip which provides various system control and memory management functions in one chip and is designed for a particular motherboard. Number 2. The instruction code is returned to the CPU from RAM via the data bus. The CPU reads the instruction from the data bus into an instruction register. Then, the CPU decodes and executes the instruction. The data to be processed, called operands, are fetched from the following locations in RAM via the data bus, in the same way as the instruction. The instruction execution continues by feeding the operand or operands to the data processing logic. Additional data can be fetched from memory. An example is text data from a word processor. The result of the operation is stored in a data register, and then, if necessary, in memory for later use. In the meantime, the program counter has been incremented, rather increased, to the address of the next instruction code. The address of the next instruction is then output and the sequence repeats from step 2. The operating system programs like the word processor and the text data are stored in different parts of RAM during program execution. And the word processing application program calls up operating system routines as required to read in, process, and store the text data. Many complex instruction set computer processors, like the Pentium, have instructions which are more than 8 bits in size, which are stored in multiple locations, and use very complex memory management strategies to optimize program execution. Memory is organized in 8 bits. Long instructions and data words are usually multiples of 8 bits. 
Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Check out my other videos. I am not an expert. Program counter the program execution cycle. Three easy steps. Data processing logic. Eight bits in size.